Hey there, YouTube. Skeptical Root. Short video today. Uh, this week so far, I've seen at least two videos from one from Charming Man 93 and one from That Girl with an Opinion about the skeptic community on YouTube or the skeptic community in general. Uh, they both had different takes on it, and I can't help but notice the similarities between the atheist slash skeptic community on YouTube, uh, or I even go so far as to say on the internet in general, YouTube, Twitter combined, throw in a little Reddit and 4chan and, you know, what have you got? But the parallels between that and what would be an, an anarchic state for all intents and purposes, uh, a stateless state, a, a, a group where people live together without leadership or direction, an anarchy. The infighting, the doubling down, the, 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 the tangential attacks against real or perceived slights with no method of Resolving those other than appeals to the community is exactly what you'd get in a purely anarchical system where there's no one who says there's no authority that people appeal to that they say these people are going to objectively represent us. Uh, it is just what we have. People with different opinions having different opinions and arguing about it and splintering and fracturing and and it's just how it is people are indeed individuals and the notion of community is people getting together around a shared philosophy of some kind uh, i would say a lot of the skeptic community on youtube probably falls more into the free speech, the liberal free speech slash skeptic community. Uh, anybody who advocates for free speech and the sharing of opinions, they tend to be liberal. They And liberal is in the real liberal, not as in leftist liberal pejorative, often used by the right, where somehow liberal and progressive and left all mean the same thing. Although for some strange reason, they use them all separately. They don't just say the left. It's the progressive liberal left, which progressives seem to have a tendency to be more authoritarian. Or is that this the far leftists? Authoritarian being, you know, the opposite of liberal. So I don't know how that keeps getting lumped together, but. I'm just caught by that, that similarity between what is happening in the, the skeptic community, or the atheist community, or the free speech community, or whatever we're going to call it now, because some people don't like that. People just don't like labels, and which is exactly what you'd expect in anarchy, where people don't want to be boxed in or categorized. But then when something happens, there's splintering, there's fracturing, uh, atheism split atheism and atheism plus when they, they went their different ways and then atheists kind of moved into the more skeptics and the um atheism plus kind of went with the more progressive and so then we had this divide on a concept of liberty which can then further be subdivided on whether or not it's okay to say cunt or something i don't know uh but that's that's exactly the expected behavior in a stateless society like this community. That's it. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, do you see the same similarities that I do? Do you see how this is exactly what anarchy would be? Let me know. Goodbye. And hello, as always. It doesn't...
transmission.